Thank you. We will now restart proceedings. I remind members, uh, by way of preemption, that if the amendment in the name of Kevin Stewart is agreed to, the amendment in the name of Jackie Bailey will fall. The question is that Amendment 6523.3 in the name of Kevin Stewart, which seeks to amend Motion 6523 in the name of Craig Hoy on National Care Service Viability, be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. So you can tell me when I have to say the vote is now closed. The vote is now closed. Thank you. The result of the vote on amendment number 6523.3 in the name of Kevin Stewart is yes, 62, no, 49. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 6523 in the name of Craig Coy as amended on national care service viability be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are not agreed. And therefore, we will move to a vote, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Shirley Ann Somerville. My app appears to have frozen. Enough, so I would have voted yes. Point of order. Perhaps deal with Ms Somerville's point. Um, the, I, I thank Shirley Ann Somerville for her point of order and the record will be corrected. Point of order, Mary Goujon. I, I had exactly the same problem as Shirley Ann Somerville and my page wouldn't connect. I would have voted yes. Thank you, Ms. Gujal, and your vote will be recorded. My vote was recorded. I would have voted yes. I understand, Mr. Stewart, that your vote was indeed recorded. Thank you. I, I call Stephanie Callaghan, who is online, for a point of order. Thank you, President Officer. Um, I, I had voted no and tried to change it to yes, but my screen, my screen froze, so I should have voted yes. Uh, thank you, Ms Callaghan, but you can't actually change your vote uh, in that, those circumstances. The result of the vote in motion 6523 in the name of Craig Coy as amended is yes 61, no 50. There were no abstentions and the motion as amended is therefore agreed.
The next question is that Amendment 6520.2, in the name of Jenigal Ruth, which seeks to amend Motion 6520 in the name of Graeme Simpson, on essential road improvements be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, and therefore we will move to a vote, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Thank you. The result of the vote on Amendment Number 6520.2 in the name of Jenny Goldruth is yes, 62, no, 47. There were two abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that Amendment 6520.1, in the name of Neil Bibby, which seeks to amend Motion 6520 in the name of Graeme Simpson on essential road improvements, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed. Uh, therefore, we will move to a vote, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 6520.1 in the name of Neil Bibby is yes 49, no 61. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 6520 in the name of Graeme Simpson as amended on essential road improvements be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Kevin Stewart. Um, I don't know what's happening with the app this afternoon, but I would have voted yes. 
Thank you, Mr. Stewart. And again, your vote was recorded. Thank you. Thank you. The result of the vote on motion 6520 in the name of Graeme Simpson as amended is yes, 82, no, 28. There were no abstentions and the motion as amended is therefore agreed. I propose to ask a single question on two parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? The final, no member objects. The final question, therefore, is that motions 6564 on approval of an SSI and 6565 on designation of lead committee be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are all agreed, and the motion, <coughs> excuse me, the motions are therefore agreed to. That concludes decision time, and we will now move on to members' business. And therefore, I would ask those members who are leaving the chamber to do so quietly and quickly. Thank you.